Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. We are going to do this in reverse, friends. You can see this is a crock pot, and we lost a foot. As you can see, I have got a repair, and it's working like a champ. Let me walk you through the steps to show you how I did it. To start with, I measured the holes with a caliper, got a general idea, and then figured out I'd have to work around that bump so we could make our 3D print. This is the part in Tinkercad. As you can see, I clicked up here and named it Crockpot Fix. And then over here, I made the first part. I made this intentionally thin. I did not do any of the rounding. I just had the pin as I tried to get them lined up, and then I sent it to the printer. With that easy one out of the way, I went on to the curve. Now let me show you the trick I used for the curve. I used a bent pipe, set its arc length to quite long, changed the bend angle, and I got something like I wanted, but when I printed it, so the way I have chosen to do this is with trial and error. You can see this is the first print, and I had the little bend going the wrong way. We also don't have the hole in place or the correct height, but I'll keep making that bigger as I get it more and more accurate. So right here, I started to get really close. I raised it higher. I had the bend on the right side, but instead of printing this entire thing, it is still smarter once you've got the idea to chop it off. So what I did was I came out here, got rid of a big chunk of it, lowered it down, grouped those two, Control G is group, and then press D to drop it to the work plane, and then I printed that for testing. Now I'm going to quickly undo that. If I delete the hole and I do D for drop, let me also show you how this was built. If we do ungroup, you can see I just adjusted these numbers, made it a little bit larger, and stretched it, and then as you can see I cut in a hole so it would be easier to put a screw in later. And friends, here we are with the final version. You can see that fits. I'm going to edit one more time to just nudge that a half millimeter out. And bingo, we've got a finished part that I can print at the full height. All right, so let's quickly review a couple things right here. If you haven't ever followed a tutorial, I will have some beginner lessons up in the corner that you should check out. But what I did here was I brought out a cube. I chose a radius of two, so you can see that's how I got the rounded edges. And then I just stretched it with the black handles to get the sizes I want. I already showed you how I used the bent pipe. If you've never used it before, you can just type bent and it will show you the bent pipe. I also recommend making it a favorite so that you can from then on find it faster by going to your favorites menu. I then brought out a cylinder. I'm going to go back to the basic shapes and I brought out the cylinder hole. Tinkercad cuts when you group things. I made the sides totally round. I held down shift and I stretch or squoze, whatever you picked. And then the number I needed was four millimeters. I stretched it to the right height. And then I simply used control up and the other arrow keys to nudge them into place. As I told you earlier, I had used a caliper to get an idea, but it was really just guess and check. When I was done and had my measurements right, I did ungroup this and ungroup this and remember I nudged this an extra half millimeter so that it ended up perfect and then just for fun I added this cylinder that cuts it out so it's got a little rounded shape to make it look a little more cool. When I'm done I do control G and we have got a part that is ready for 3D printing. In Tinkercad you can simply hit export and we're going to export as an STL. Now this is kind of funny. In my 3D modeling folder, you will see that this is Crock-Pot test number 11. It took that many times for me to get it absolutely epic. I do also want to remind you that I leave all of my iterations in the project. That way I can always go back if I find a smarter design. You can also add notes. For instance, you can say what the distance was that you needed between something. You just hit the letter N to make more notes all throughout your project. And I find Tinkercad to be absolutely epic for this sort of project. Alrighty friends, so here we are. Crockpot foot has been added. Totally fits that profile, and we're back in business. Only took 11 versions. How cool is that? 
friends, of course. I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.